Hey, what's up everyone? It's Owen here. This is going to be a quick review on the GAN timer, as well as a comparison to the Stackmat G4 to help you decide which one of these timers you should get, and if the GAN timer is still worth getting if you already have the Stackmat G4. Alright, so a quick introduction on the GAN timer. It costs $35 at the cubicle, it weighs 165 grams if anyone cares about that, and it is available in two versions, black and silver. It used to come in red, but that was unfortunately discontinued. The GAN timer has two main selling points, the first being its Bluetooth capabilities. This Bluetooth capability allows it to connect to the GAN Smart Cube app and be used with the GAN Smart Cube. I'm not exactly sure how this works, I find it a pretty useless feature since I don't use Smart Cubes much myself but it is there for people who are interested. If you do use smart cubes, this is probably a pretty helpful feature because you can better simulate competitions when you're using a smart cube because typically when you use a smart cube, you don't actually start or stop a timer. It just starts and stops for you when you start turning the cube and when the cube is solved, but that makes your times like way faster than they would be when you're actually starting the timer since there's time for pickup and stopping. So that is helpful. The second selling point of this timer is its buttons and specifically the resistance it has against accidental timer resets, which was an issue that a lot of people would have with the stack mat, either from stopping the timer too hard and the timer would just turn off or reset, or from accidentally pressing the buttons that reset it while they're stopping because they're not really placed in a good spot. But the GAN timer has a thing in place so that that will not happen. At one second after you stop the timer, you cannot reset it, which is helpful because then even if you accidentally press the reset button, which is this middle one, which is a lot harder to reach, or the power off button, those buttons will not function. And I have been using this quite a bit and no matter how hard I stop it, it won't reset. So that's really good to see. Here, I'll demonstrate it. Yeah, so as you can see, for about a second, those buttons did not work. Another thing that they don't really advertise, but it's said in the pamphlet, is that these buttons can resist 100,000 presses. I'm not really sure where they came to that number, but they do work a lot better than the stack mat. This is actually my second stack mat, but my old one, the buttons would like rip apart. These are much better buttons, if anyone cares about that. One more thing I should mention before I do the comparison. The GAN timer is not compatible with the StackMat G4 mat or any of the other stack mats, as far as I can tell. If you look at the bottoms, you can see that they have really small holes to connect to the mat when this, while well, the stack mat has very large ones. There is this GAN mat you can use, which I personally do not like the look of, but it hooks on, you just put it on top and press it down. It works really well, it will not come off accidentally. But yeah, like I was saying, I do not like the look of this mat. It's just a bunch of like random times, scrambles and dates, I think from GAN ambassadors. And also it's like a square shape, which is not my favorite since I feel like, I don't know. I, I, I like to have a mat that goes out like this way. So yeah, I do not like this mat. I usually do not use it when I'm using my GAN timer. I will just use this cubicle mat. All right, so which one should you get? The GAN timer or the stack mat G4? I'll go ahead and give you guys the answer on my opinion. I think you should get the GAN timer since they're about the same price and I think the GAN timer is a lot better. So why do I think that? Well, there are three main reasons. I think the first one is the accidental reset prevention feature. I think that's really cool. The second is the ability of the GAN timer to record your average of five. I think this is really useful, especially if I don't have like access to see his timer at the moment or whatever. So I can see like, you know, if I got some good solving to with the averages without having to use like calculator or writing down my times or whatever. And the third reason would be the, the Bluetooth feature. I don't personally use this, but I think this does make it a better option for a lot of people who want that feature. So yeah. Now, should you buy the GAN timer if you already have the stack mat? I think no, unless if you're having a lot of issues with your stack mat, such as like accidentally resetting it. If you do that a lot, then you might want the GAN timer. Same with if you really want to be able to record your average of five on it. Well, another reason, which I think would apply to almost no one why you wouldn't want to get the GAN timer, is that you cannot save your times on the GAN timer, but you can on the stack mat. I don't think this is an issue at all. I I'm just fine remembering my times, but I just thought I'd let you guys know about that. All right, so one final question that I hope you guys are not asking. Should you get the GAN timer or the stack mat G5? If you don't know the answer to this, then you're blind. I'm sorry. If you do decide that you want to get this timer, I'll leave a link to it in the description. All right, we've come to the end of the video where usually I'll tell you guys to like, subscribe, use my discount code, all that stuff. But seriously, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.